What up peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I was hoping that we were going to have something to show you in the intro because someone was emailing us they have a near complete Wii U collection to drop off and I think most of it's factory sealed. It's pretty crazy uh, but it hasn't come in just yet. So we're actually starting the video a little bit later in the day because I was waiting for that. I wanted to show you guys in the intro but hopefully we will see that later in this video but for now let's just jump into it. This is it. This is it guys. So happy I punched the door. Me too. I'm feeling a little out of it today, guys. <laughs> so I'm just gonna focus on doing this trade. <clears throat> this is all sealed stuff. Same with all of this. As you can tell, there's a few graded games as well. And then we have these, this tub, this, those two tubs, and that tub. And then Ryan has a tub over there of stuff that needs to be tested. So we're gonna spend all day going through this stuff because he's coming back tomorrow. He was driving through, dropped off the stuff. He's heading up north. Then tomorrow he's gonna be coming back down this way. So we need to get this trade done basically ASAP. So I'm going to get started on the sealed stuff. Colton's gonna get started on the open stuff. Ryan is working on testing right now. And there probably won't be too much more filming for today, but I'm sure you guys will understand we're on a time crunch here. And this is a pretty big collection trade in. So we want to make sure we do it right, make him a pretty fair offer, and hopefully end up with some really, really cool stuff. I'm excited to show you guys. We do have trades set up, which we're going to film, film later today for sure. Uh, but for now, I'm going to get to work, and we'll just warp through the next few hours of the day. This is the stuff you have entered so far? Yes. Nice. Lots of PSP movies. Yeah, like <laughs> crazy amount. Some we haven't had before, which is pretty cool. Sweet all these that tub like i showed you guys i'm still working on the sealed stuff what's up do you want this it's like a playstation 4 worry pad sure look at it yeah those are like great controllers for people with small hands yeah, yeah i've never cool. seen this hori has the coolest stuff did the lady come in yet which lady oh yes the her stuff's over here ah, yes gamecube trade I'm liking it. This is a pretty good selection of GameCube games. Holy crap. Honestly, some good RPGs. Oh, Lost Alien Kingdom. Alien Hominid, Lost Kingdoms, Bloody Roar, F-Zero. I might need F -Zero. to get Lost Kingdoms because that's a game that I never beat when I was younger. And I plugged my GameCube back in and I've been playing it. I beat it when I was younger. And Lost Kingdoms too. <gasps> I got to get on your level, man. I know. Wait, what's this? I don't, oh, oh these are the rest of them? Oh, there's more. So the I lady guess. the lady called and said she had all these games with the artwork and the cases, but no actual cases. Yeah. So I guess these are the ones Ryan put away. Because we have replacement cases, of course. Mm -hmm. That's super cool, though. Yeah, that is. And these VHS, are those from her? Yep. Um, nice. One of them had molding on it. It was this one. Yeah. Uh, Jess came and showed me. Oh, yeah. Let's, but, let's show the peeps, because this is important. If you, if you ever see mold on a VHS tape, unless it's something that's really rare, I would not grab it because mold will spread. Yes. So if you put this on the shelf with all your other VHS, over time, mold will get on all of them. Because of the spores. See uh, that? That white stuff on the on the actual tape there? Mold. It's really and that one's not too bad. I've seen some really bad ones before, but still, it's not worth the risk, especially for a Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah. And you told me there's a way to, like, get mold off, but it involves, like... You have to, like... You either have to take the tape apart or you have to like put it into a VCR, but take the top of the VCR off. So when the tape, you have to play it on like slow motion or something yeah. and have like two Q-tips on each side of the tape and just kind of run it through the whole thing, which I mean, imagine how long that movie is doing it on slow motion. Right. <laughs> you can maybe do it on normal speed, but still it would take forever. Yeah. So it's not really worth it for cheap common movies like that one. If it was, you know, something crazy, like a $300 tape, that's obviously worth trying to fix, but not Ninja Turtles. Would you have a Ninja Turtle? Of course I would. Freaking adorable. So we're about to close. I got through all of that and all of these. These were all of the new items, or at least most of them. There might be a couple more we'll find in the tubs as we go, but those are all entered. Colton's been working diligently. <sighs> this is the Dunbox. 
Yes. I'll take that as a yes. Look at that. Beautiful. But we'll get this done tomorrow. Uh, right? Yay. Well, I'm off tomorrow. No, no, you're not. Jazz. Yeah. We should have saved the title we used last week for today. Oh. The one, the video is called, Are We Buying Too Much Stuff? Oh, yes, today. Today's been kind of crazy, Cooper. It's been very crazy. Look at all this. Piles. Oh, my God. Piles. There's just stuff everywhere. There's too much. Too much stuff. I want it. Can I, can I tell them? Tell them how much I paid out for that uh, GameCube trade. They also brought a bunch of other stuff, but it came out to $500 that I gave them. Wow. Oh, uh, $500 plus $100 in store credit. $115. So $615. That's almost more than the other stuff from today. <laughs> almost. How much is that? Six. Too much. Too much. Way Too more much than we stuff. made in sales today. Yeah. I know that. But, you know, uh, it's an investment in our future. Because uh, all of those GameCube games are going to sell. We already sold the Twilight Princess one. That guy waited for like two hours for me to finish. <laughs> yeah, he came in, he was like, he saw it on the counter. And was like, is that Twilight Princess for sale? It's like, it's not ours yet. He goes, when is it going to be yours? In like a couple days. I was like, in like a couple hours. He was like, I'll be back. So he goes to his car and then he comes right back and he says, you know what? I'm just gonna wait right here for it. So he wandered around the store and he explained to me, he was like, I've tried to get this copy of Twilight Princess on the game for so long. And I know that every single time somebody buys it right out from under me. So I wasn't gonna take the risk. I was like, you go, man. <laughs> Good. Good. Anyway, uh, long story short, too much stuff. All right, everybody, you wanna guess how many things we have today for trades? Uh, uh, oh my god! Are you filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. Get back to it. Um, so, we have so much stuff that I have a little stack on the floor for you. So, here, I'll just go through them really quick. <laughs> yeah, all stuff we've had before. The good stuff, some good games. The good stuff. Pretty, pretty nice GameCube collection. Ah, water damage. Bloody roar. I don't think I've ever heard of that game. I can't wait till this comes out on Switch. Then I'll actually play it. Uh -huh. All right, cool. Let's actually move on to the stuff on the counter. So there's this really nice, really nice Final Fantasy guide. It's actually not bad condition-wise on the inside, but the cover's a little, a little rough. Um, speaking of rough, we have that character from Cowboy Bebop in a PlayStation hat. I think these are pretty cheap. They said they never wore them. I didn't want to take them, but we took them, so. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Get our 3DS stuff in box. Switch and standard DS. Got some Game Boy Advance. <sighs> There's so much stuff. So many huge collections have been brought in recently that it's just so crazy. I don't know if it's like spring cleaning or, or what. If uh, people are trying to get out of the uh, collecting game before it crashes inevitably. That's what I think is going to happen. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think the prices are going to get worse or are they going to crash? Because gaming is just at a low point right now. This is the hardened edition of Call of Duty. No slipcover, unfortunately. Totally rad. Got fantasy. Got some 
more NES stuff here. Um, finally got in a expansion card for Series X. Haven't seen one in a while. Um, some good Wii U. Wii and PS3. This one especially, Sly 2, is such a good game. It's one of my favorite games of all time. The other two are really good. Uh, I just think Sly 2 is the best of the three. I'm go through the cheaper stuff. Wish we had like a, well we do, it just Cooper doesn't want to charge it ever. The little stabilizer, because I have shaky hands. It's one of my weaknesses, shaky hands. Got some CDs, three sealed Final Fantasy soundtracks, really cool. I think they're all at $35. Yeah, only $35, pretty affordable. Um, really nice, because they're sealed. You know, you got the Final Fantasy VI soundtrack in there, so can't go wrong. I've never heard of this game, but apparently all brand new copies, uh, two, one or two trees get planted. So I'll have to find a new copy of that game, or I can just go plant a tree. Um, sorry about that. There is some more of the cheaper stuff. PS1. Might not actually be cheaper stuff, I don't know. There's so much stuff Cooper has kind of organized it in an interesting way just to get it all fit. But we're moving into the DVDs now. Feel free to pause and why is that X Men over here? Oh, it's because it's brown. Some anime and other cartoons. Sets, VHS. A lot of Blu-rays that I was like, oh, I should get that, but what am I doing? I don't, I don't get Blu-rays. I don't buy physical media. I'm just not that guy. It could be, but collecting is a lot. So I, I just get digital stuff. I know I don't actually own digital stuff, but like, it's so much more convenient for me personally to not have such a huge collection. Cause I have to move like every year or two, it sucks. But moving a collection is not fun. Sorry, I'm trying to get these visible here. And then we got some more expensive stuff. Surprise, we're still selling this guy. This one's so sad. Um, it was being heat pressed and as you can see it like got stuck to the paper that was in the heat press so it like just totally ruined it so sad I even never heard of this but it's like selling for crazy amounts on eBay the Zelda show excuse me princess Apparently, I have this. I priced this one down quite a bit from what I've seen on eBay. Uh, it's like out of print or something. Never heard of this movie, um, but apparently it's good according to the Academy. So, if you get a good deal on it, good for you. And moving back into the video games. Oof, that's come down. But that's to be expected with Ubisoft games. And I do apologize for like any noises on the on the camera. Should have taken the phone case off before I started filming. Hey, this game, this game is good. There's this one and Fall of Cybertron. They're both amazing. Um, developed by High Moon Studios. Where's that logo? High Moon right there. They also did the Deadpool game. They make pretty good licensed games. Uh, it just sucks because uh, all the licenses get pulled all the time. And I hate it. I hate that. Which is kind of like a really big downside for me personally. Because I... Why is this back here? We don't film handhelds. That's weird. Because of course I do collect digitally. So if a license gets pulled and I don't own a game already. Own. Own the game already. 
then uh, I can't own it. And that sucks. Um, I think I saw those. And now we're back to where we were at the start. So I do apologize if I missed something. There is just a lot back here. Anyways, thanks for treading everybody. We're gonna have even more for you soon. So we're about to head home for the night guys, but something came in the mail today that is going to be used for our new store. And I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what it is right now because it's probably going to be the title and thumbnail of a future vlog because this is gonna be really, really freaking cool. I can't show you the other side. Well, if I, it says what it is on it, but I'm gonna cover that. So here it is. This thing is going to make our game store have an extremely unique feature that I don't think any other game stores have had. Uh, at least no place around here and no place I've ever been to. But this is amazing. This came with a little cable as well. Bam. And it cost me 65-ish or 60, $64 or something like that. And this thing is going to be incredible. I can't wait. Um, I have to mess with it and get it all figured out before we can actually implement it. But man, this thing's going to be this is game changing for us um, it's just going to be such a cool unique thing that our store will have that no other place will so tell you guys more about that later but for now let's get home get some rest good morning guys and good morning ariel good morning it's just us so far ryan just should be here in about five or ten minutes and we have a lot of stuff to work on as you guys know we had that gigantic collection dropped off yesterday i worked on all the factory sealed items colton started working on the open stuff he got through, I think, one one tub and started on the second one. So he's off today. So I'm gonna try to finish that stuff. I'm feeling much better this morning, by the way. And we filmed all these trades yesterday, which means now we need to take photos of this stuff for our social media, sort everything for resurfacing and start getting stuff put away, put on the shelves. So this is a huge amount of items here. <laughs> And I'm the one that takes most of the photos. Abby does some as well on the days I'm not here, but this is crazy. So I'm gonna get started on this. As soon as I'm done, I'm gonna get started on that big trade. We have to finish that one today. We are warping way through the day because I have finished these three tubs and I only have this one left to do. Plus a couple little games here. And then gotta enter all the stuff that Ryan and Jess tested. This stuff needs to be tested still. There's a box of Wii stuff here, which Ryan's working on. Yeah. And then this whole tub was already tested, so we gotta get that yeah. stuff entered. But we should be done yeah. pretty soon. What do you want from Taco Bell? I want a cantina uh, carne asada enchilada. I'll ask. <laughs> Good, because that's what I want. <laughs> bean rice jalapeno burrito thing. You want jalapenos in it? It has jalapeno, creamy jalapeno sauce. Uh, I like so this shirt. It's super faded. <laughs> yeah. I oh use God. I use it a lot. That's where I fold it. I can tell. It? Yeah, it folds That's right sad. Yeah, that, that happens to all shirts. Hi, Jess. Guess I'll, oh, guess I'll have to get a new one. I'm so sorry we have not filmed too much, guys. I've been working on getting this trade done basically all day. And uh, we gave the guy a call. He's supposed to be here any minute and we're gonna make him the offer. I really hope that he accepts it. Otherwise we wasted two days of, of work and turned away other trades because we were busy. Um, no one has to accept our offer, obviously, but I think when people drop off a trade of this size, they're pretty much ready to, to make a deal, right? No one's coming in with of car load of stuff and then being like, eh, I think I'm gonna hold on to it. Doesn't really happen, right? So should be good, hopefully it is. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to show you guys this stuff in this vlog because we close in half an hour. So if he comes in here, you know, within the next 10 minutes, we, there's no possible way we can sticker everything and get it set up within like 20 minutes. So you will most likely be seeing some of the stuff in the next vlog, hopefully all of it, but sometimes it takes a while to get through and sticker because there is, there's hundreds and hundreds of games. So we will see what happens, but you guys will see it very, very soon. 
For today though, we have a very, very small amount of trades because we weren't really taking stuff, we were just focusing on that big one. So I'm gonna have Ryan show you guys this stuff here. All right, guys, time for the trades for today. There isn't much, but let's get started. We'll start here with this filthy Xbox, original Xbox carrying bag. Very cool, other than the dirt. I don't know if we've really tried to clean it very well yet. I'll probably try again if someone else already has. Yeah, we'll see how clean we can get that, but it's uh, looking kind of gross. Sorry for that. All right, then we got some Wii U games here. Pretty cool. Got two of the Xenoblade Chronicles X. That's, that's kind of cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I don't know why. Okay, that one's new on the right. That's why it's more expensive. I was like, why? All right, got some NES over here. Got Punch-Out. And Nemo something Dream Master or Little Nemo Dream Master. Yeah. We got some more NES here. Let's start down here. I don't think there's anything too cool. And then we got this Amiibo, the Orange Inkling Girl. And we got Pokémon Tournament and Mighty Number no. Nine. And then we've got a bunch of strategy guides here. Let's go through those. Right. In case you guys can't read them, I'll, I'll read them off. Halo, Destroy All Humans, Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Metal Gear Solid, the Prima Unauthorized Guide, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Grand Theft Auto, uh, the Jack and Daxter, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Resident Evil 4, and what are these ones? Halo 3 and Halo 2. And that's actually it for the trades for today. Uh, we do have trades that we're still working on, but I don't know if they're going to be shown today. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace. He accepted the offer. Yay! Yay! We did it! So we're going to print tags overnight. So at the beginning of the next video, which we start filming tomorrow, you guys will see the process of getting those all stickered and everything and then we'll show you guys hopefully everything in the next video there's a chance that some of it might not make it till the, the video after that but we should be able to get it all in but super nice guy mm -hmm. uh he does not live super close he's a couple hours away so he made the trip and uh very very nice he ended up getting a full cash payout but then he also took a copy of oblivion for the 360 plus the strategy guide for that game nice. <laughs> so Shout out to him. Thank awesome you. guy. Super, super nice. Had a really cool collection, which is now available. Yeah. So you can go check the website right now if you want to make some purchases. Even before you see them in the vlog, they are on the website now. Thank you, Elijah. Question of the day. You just sold your whole collection. What are you buying? A trip to Disneyland. No, I wouldn't be able to afford that with my collection. Um, I guess a GameCube. Uh, I would buy a house if I could afford it, because that sounds nice. Like a dollhouse? No, like a me house that I can fit in. Like a, like a G.I. Joe toy house. Do you I think, mean, do you yeah. Think, do you think your That's collection's big enough to buy a house? No. What about a tiny but I house? I could put a down payment on it. You could buy a tiny house. <laughs> yeah. could buy a tiny I've house seen them like... in the parking lot at Home Depot. They sell them. Yeah, yeah, the little shack houses. Yeah, yeah. that's not a the... tiny house. Those are new. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's... Yes, it is. It's those a are shack. those are current day houses. Okay, those are what people can afford nowadays. So when you're watching this in the future and you're able to afford a doghouse size, well, we could afford a, a you know, a shed size. But that's only if you sell your collection. Yeah, only if you sell your collection. I would buy the most expensive meal ever. 12,000 chicken fajitas. Oh, 